stand with us as we sing this morning?
The Bible is God's word. そして祈ったり And we pray. あの祈る時に神様とその会話があります。And when we pray to God, we can have a conversation with God. And as we just finished, we can sing songs. And this is the giving praise to God. Because we have an amazing God. We have this church so that we can have a relationship with God. So that we can have, and we are praying today that you would be able to have this and experience this relationship with God. Today we have a very special speaker who's with us from America. And we've been really looking forward to having him with us today. Manning Jeff and his wife, Jennifer, are with us today. Jeff and Jennifer Manning are with us today. North Carolina They come from North Carolina. Jeff is a Christian. Jeff is a pastor. 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 ですか,ですから、教会が終わったらありがとうと言ってください。So、助けてくれてありがとうございます。あ次のことはハイファイブタイムにします。So、隣の人をあの隣の人にハイファイブしてください Every week here at Hope Alive, we like to do a My Hope story. Because we have this relationship with God. God, when we read the Bible, it speaks to us in our heart. And so each one of us has a story that we want to be able to share with others. And so Lynn is with us today. He's going to share. So let's welcome him and listen to his testimony. Konnichiwa, Lynn Des. Hello, I'm Lynn. <laughs> My hope story today is about worry. Maybe you can relate with、uh, some of the things I'm about to talk about around worry. So I became a Christian when I was 21. God blessed me with His grace. My beautiful wife. My family. My children. But you know, through the years, He has grown my faith through difficult times. And wonderful times. I've struggled with some things through the years that at times caused me to not follow God as closely as I should. In the last two years, God has pointed out a serious issue. Worry. Worry about my past failures. Worry about my broken relationships. Worry about my children. My marriage. My career. My money. My future. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a common theme in all of my worry. Did you notice? It's the word my. I try to take ownership of the relationships, the family, the career, 
あの仕事 The money and the future. お金、将来。This is wrong. これはあの違います。The Bible guides my life. And when I look at Luke chapter 12, Luke no, Juniso to Miruto, verses 22 through 25, Nijuni Kara Nijugo Made, Jesus addresses my problem that many of us struggle with. Yes, what book no Monday needs to read there and I know Hanashimasta. Let's read that. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat. Nor about your body, what you will put on, for life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. So, the car, Mata, Destachino, Ho, Muki, Sakio, Suzuke, Ramasta, Descara, Ute, Okimasho, Tabi Monoa, Jubunka, Et Kirmonoa, Aruka, Toyu, To, De Ichi, Ichi, Shimpai Surunoa, Yame, Yamenasai, Hito no, Inochiwa, Tabi Monoya, Kirmono, Yori, Dore Dake, Kachiga Aru. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have vow. Sorry. <laughs> They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by being anxious or worry, can add a single hour to his lifespan? Karaso minasai. Shumo. まかず、借り入れもせず、蔵を持てるわけではありません。それで、それでも悠々と構えていられるのは、神が養ってくださるからです。神の目には、カラスな,などより、あなた方の方が大切なのです。それに、供養、供養したところで、どうにもなりません。心配すれば、住民用が一日でも伸びるのですか。So when I focus the energy of my worry on these verses。ですから、あの僕の中心はあの心配に考えると、I'm reminded that God is in control of everything。これ、代わりにあの神様に中心と、神様がすべてのことをコントロールしている。He's our provider. He cares for all of his creation and he points out that we are the most valuable. Jesus also reminds me that there is no good. No problem solving. And no progress in worry. あの心配するとあの結果は変わらない。Worry is used by our enemy to cause us to take our focus away from our relationship with God. 心配はあのサタンからの武器です。あの中心はあの神様から離れるように心配をあの使っています。Worry changes our focus to ourselves, and this is where we fail and I fail. 心配はあの自分自身の中心になってしまう。これは間違ってます。Because when we do that, we allow worry to control us. So today, if you struggle with worry like I do, would you, would you join me in making Luke 12 your medicine for your worry? Would you join me in prayer? Let's pray about this. Lord, we thank you. Yes, we thank you that you are the provider of everything, of all your creation. Lord, we, we recognize that you, you point out we are more valuable than all those other creations. And Lord, we thank you that、uh, you gave the greatest sacrifice. To give us your grace. Lord, would, would, you, would you meet me today where I am in, in my, my journey and my struggle with worry? Would you meet my friends where they struggle with this very same thing? Lord, we don't want to worry. 
We want to keep our focus on you. And your great gift. And your great message that you've given us. And Father, we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Stand again. Christ Jesus is Lord. Continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built, it, built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Colossians 2:6-7. すでにキリストの救いを信じたあなた方は、日常の問題についてもキリストに信頼し、キリストと共に生きなさい。キリストに根を深く下ろし、そこから養分を吸収しなさい。
、主にあって成長し続け、真理に立って強くたくましくありなさい、すべてに感謝し、喜びにあふれて生活しなさい。For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. Colossians 2 9 and 10. Christ のうちにこそ、神の性質のすべてが肉体をとって宿っているのです。ですから、キリストを自分のものとしているなら、すべてを手に入れたことになります。あなた方は、キリストと結びつくことによって、神に満たされているのです。キリストはすべての力を従えた権威ある最高の支配者です。
感謝して、そして悔い改めて、私たち今週1週間を通していろんなことをやってしまって、そのことを神様にあげて、代わりに許しを与えて。そして願い、いろんな願いがあって。そしてそのことにも神様に捧げて。そしてあのー、ちょっと繰り返しすることになります、たまに。And so, and sometimes we kind of repeat these things. 例えばこの間、あのー、3人のために仕事が必要だと祈りましたね。あのまだあの全ての人は聞いてないけど、一人は仕事があったんです。And I haven't heard from everybody yet, but at least from one person, we know that God's answered that prayer and they've got a job now.、ね、Isn't that awesome? And so our requests become thank- thanksgiving. And then we remember the greatness of God. And so that's why pra- prayer time is so important. And as we remember the greatness of our God, また願いことがあるときに、we have requests, また神様に信頼することができます。Again, ですから、祈りましょう。So、イエス様、ありがとうございます。Jesus, you so、あなたは素晴らしい神様です。私たちを救ってくれて、私たちを救ってくれて、私たちを救ってくれて、私たちを救ってくれて、私たちを救ってくれて、私たちを救ってくれて、今週1週間を通して命を与えて命を与えてくれてありがとうございます。そしていろんな必要なものを与えてくれてありがとうございます。そして今週あのいろんなことをやってしまった。And there's many things we've done that we are ashamed of, mistakes that we've made. And as we think about these things in our heart, we pray that you would forgive us and cleanse our hearts, give us a clean heart. We pray that we can overcome these things from our past. And we have many different requests. 今そのすべての願いあなたの前に捧げて。レンさんが言ったようにいろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしていろんな心配なこと。そしこんにちは。I almost said good morning because I'm so used to Sunday morning church service. 慣れた瞬間ですから、いつもおはようございます。教会でやってますけど。But I am delighted to be here with you this morning. でも、一緒に礼拝することができて、本当に感謝しています。I have seen pictures. 写真を見たり。And I have seen video clips. ビデオを見たり。Of the Hope Alive ministry here in Japan. Hope Alive の church を見てて。And now I'm here to see it for myself. 今はあの参加する,することができてあの嬉しいです。My wife and I, we flew in last Saturday. 先週の土曜日あの日本に来て。We spent, we spent some time in Hokkaido. 北海道州あの北海道にあの。s a p o r o s a p o r o 市。And then we came back to Tokyo. そして東京に戻って。Spent about three days sightseeing. 3日目にいろんな旅行をして。And since then we've been living with the Hubbards. そしてあのハバードさんたち、ケルマンさんたちと一緒に住んでて。And so we've been spending time. そして時間を過ごして。With over 20 different missionaries. 20, 20人の宣教師たちをあの時間を過ごして。Not only being with them. その人たちだけではなく。But especially being here with you this morning or this afternoon, 特にあの今日一緒にあの礼拝することができて、I am reminded that God so loved the world. 神様はその世を愛しているほどに、red and yellow, 
black and white. They are all precious in his sight. And one day, there will be gathered around God's throne. Believers from every tongue, every tribe, every nation. And so shall we enjoy heaven and eternity all together forever. Uh, my wife and I have three children. And one grandson. He's about three months old. And no offense to you, but we are looking forward to seeing him when we get back. All three of my kids are married. And that makes my wife and my hearts very warm. But enough about us. Let's open our Bibles to Philippians chapter 1. We're going to look at just a verse or two here in Philippians chapter 1. And if I were to give my sermon a title, it would be Kingdom Consistency. So in America, football is very popular right now. Both college and professional football. Several years ago, one of the most popular players in the whole country was a guy named Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow He was a quarterback. The Florida Gators, the team he played for, we're playing the Kentucky Wildcats. It's the third quarter. Florida is winning the game. But Tebow goes back to throw a pass. One of the defenders sacks him. And when he drives him to the ground, the back of his head hit one of his teammates' thighs. Gave him a concussion. Knocked him out. He gets up off the field, makes his way to the sidelines, he throws up twice. Eventually goes to the hospital. The game is over. Two or three hours later, his coach comes to the hospital to talk to him. And Tim Tebow had one question to ask. Did I hold on to the ball? He wanted to make sure that he had done his responsibility. If he had fumbled that ball, it could have really made a change in the game. So if you're going to be a good football player, you have to consistently hold on to the football. In baseball, which you're very familiar with, good batters consistently put the bat on the ball. Good fielders consistently catch the ball. They consistently make good throws. Consistency in sports is vitally important. But consistency in Christian living is even more important. So several years ago, there was a missionary in India. And she was speaking to a group of women. About halfway through her talk, one of the women just got up and walked she was gone for several minutes. 
And then she came back in. そして戻ってきました。When it was over, そして終わった時、one of the Indian leaders そのリーダーさんたちが asked her why she left. なぜ,なぜ急に出たのか聞きました。面白くないですか And the woman said, oh, yes, I was very interested. あいやあの、興味深いです。But I wanted to know, でも一つの,あの知りたいことがありました。If you live the life that you were talking about, 今、説明していることは本当に人生に起こるのかちょっとあの知りたかった。So、I went out to talk to your driver who's been taking you everywhere. ですから、あの外で行って運転者にあの話をかけて本当かどうか聞きました。She wanted to know if she, the lady who was teaching, was consistent in her Christian life. And that's the essence of what Paul has to say in Philippians chapter 1, verse 27. ここ so Philippians 1, 27 says, Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of. Of the gospel of Christ. ただ、キリストの福音にふさわしくあの生活しなさい。So, kingdom consistency is to be every believer's priority. 神の王国の遺憾性はクリスチャンに対して大事なことです。When it says that we're to walk worthy of the gospel, あの福音を従うということと書いてあるように。It doesn't mean we live our lives in order to earn Salvation. We can't possibly be worthy of salvation. But we live our lives consistently so that other people watching us see that Christianity. Is worthy of their、uh, consideration. So, for our time together, I want us to look at two ways to demonstrate kingdom consistency. Number one, in, in order to be consistent in your kingdom living, I want you to be consistently convictional. クリスチャンに対して、いかんせいなクリスチャンになるように、常にしっかり立って。So, notice two things with me here from verse 27. 27節に2つのことを出てきます。Number one, we should stand firm like soldiers in an army. あの、一番目は、軍隊の兵士たちのようにしっかり立って。So, notice the verse goes on and says, そしてあの話が続けて、Whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit. So when it tells us to stand firm or to stand fast, that's a military term. A good soldier. Stands his ground. He does his job. He does not leave his post. And so it's a reminder that when we trusted Christ as our Savior, we didn't join a country club. We enlisted in God's army. Now, from what I know about Japanese soldiers, あの日本人の兵士たちをあの知ることによって、Japanese soldiers illustrate exactly the spiritual truth Paul has here. あの日本人の兵士たちが本当にしっかり立つというようなイメージもあの僕も持ってます。Japanese soldiers fight to the death. あの日本日本人の兵士たちがあの死ぬまで。They do anything that is necessary to win. And, and here Paul tells us to stand firm in our beliefs, our convictions, and our biblical principles. Now, when we stand firm, It means we stand for some things and against some things. うう 
You stand for God and against Satan. You stand for truth and against falsehood. You stand for righteousness. And against sin. Look over in chapter 4, verse 1. Paul repeats this same principle of standing firm. There in chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, my brothers, for whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, that is how you should stand firm in the Lord. 最後に私の兄弟たち、主に当て喜びなさい。前と同じことを書きますが、それは私には煩わしいことではなく、あなた方の安全のために問われることです。We're not going to take the time to turn. あの、多分、あの、自分の聖書を見なくてもいいですけど。I believe it'll be on the screen. Screen に出てきます。First Corinthians 16:13. 第一コリントの16の13です。Be watchful, stand firm in the faith. And be strong. Also, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand and withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. I don't know if you recognize the name Josh Harris or not. Josh Harris But probably 25 years or more. He wrote a book that was very popular in America. It was called I Kissed Dating Goodbye. It was an excellent book. It, it taught some principles that lined up with the Bible about dating. For how a Christian man should treat a, a young lady that he's interested in. This Josh Harris pastored more than one church. A big church. A, a, a lot of people in America know who Josh Harris is. But just a few weeks ago, the news broke that he and his wife were getting a divorce. He has turned away from all the biblical truth that he used to hold to. He has apologized to the I don't know if they'll understand the LGBTQ uh, community. He was recently seen at a gay pride parade up in Canada. You know what Josh Harris has done? He has not stood firm. He's basically turned his back on the faith. And so I, I want to exhort you this afternoon. Stand firm in the faith. Hold on to the scriptures. Hold, hold on to Christ. The foundation of the Christian faith is strong. It's based on the God man, Jesus Christ. So, for kingdom consistency, I want you to stand firm like a soldier in an army. Secondly, I want you to strive together like athletes on a team. So go back to Philippians 1 verse 27. Paul says, I want to know that you stand firm in one spirit, contending as one man for the faith of the gospel. Paul says, I want to know that you stand firm in one spirit, contending as one man for the faith of the gospel. 
The word that is translated striving together or contending is where we get our English word athlete from or athletics. So he's teaching that we as believers, a part of us living consistent lives, is to come together as a team and to have spiritual teamwork. Each believer has his or her own role to play. So um, do you know much about auto racing? あの、あの、I'm uh, not a big racing person. I, I, I like sports with balls involved. When, when it comes to racing, just show me the wrecks. <laughs> but nonetheless, you have a pit crew. When a driver is racing, it's not just about the driver. When that driver comes in for a pit stop, 20 guys come over the wall. There's one at the front, one at the back with their hydraulic jacks. They lift the car up. You've got four guys that are taking the, 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 the nuts off the wheels. And so, I mean, just like that. <laughs> You've got the tires off. You've got new tires on. Zoom. Zoom. The car is gone. Some of the best pit crews can do all of those tire changes. Put gas in the car in less than three seconds. Some, some have actually broken the record and have done it in less than two seconds. Just like each one of those pit crew members has their role to play, each one of you have a role to play. Each one of you has been gifted if you're a believer, you've been gifted with spiritual gifts. You've got abilities. And Christ wants you to use those gifts and abilities in the Christian race. As Hope Alive continues to grow, it will need more of you to be a part of its pit crew. So, for kingdom consistency, stand firm like a soldier and work together as an athlete. Number two, in order to demonstrate kingdom consistency, not only be consistently convictional, but also be consistently cooperative. Let's go back to verse 27 again. Notice Paul says there at the end of the verse, I want you to stand firm in one spirit, contending as one man. So when it talks about one, one spirit or one mind, it's where we get our English word psyche from. So, especially in American football, before the game begins, all the guys huddle together. And they're jumping around. And they're hooping and hollering. They are psyched up for the game. 
Scripture says you and I should be psyched up for Christ. あの聖書によると私たちは盛り上がってる神様のために盛り上がりましょうということです。When a team, whether it's football or baseball, or soccer, soccer, they come together and they cooperate as a team to win. You, as a church, as a body of believers, you're to come together to win people to Christ. To make disciples. To glorify God. To make Jesus' name famous. Now think about the variety that's represented by your church. You are not unlike the church that this letter is written to. Some of the first believers in the church at Philippi included Lydia. Lydia. She was a wealthy businesswoman. It also included a young girl who had previously been demon possessed. It also included a prison warden. He was probably a Roman soldier. And he retired from the battlefield to work in a prison. Acts 16 also tells us that some of Lydia's workers became believers. So, how in the world does a Christian businesswoman, a young girl who had been demon possessed, and a hardened soldier, how do they come together? I'll tell you how. Because grace and the gospel. Unite people together in Christ. Now, you do not currently have a big choir. But we've probably all heard big choirs that just sung with excellence. And so,、um, Jack, he especially would understand what I'm about to tell you. You may have 50 people in a choir, but their goal is to sound like one voice. Studies have been done that when a big choir starts singing, it does not take very long before their heart rates actually. Almost beat as one.、Uh, a study has been done recently where they put these pulse monitors in their ears. And as the music begins, they're following the music, they're breathing at the same time. And then, next thing you know, it's, it's as though their hearts are beating. The same beat. And what the scripture says is this, this body of believers should have one heartbeat, one voice. And that one voice is a voice of praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. So,、um, Pat Riley, know, Pat Riley is one of the most famous NBA basketball coaches ever. NBA no, know, no When he was an assistant coach for the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers no, you may not NBA no team, no assistant coach no they won the NBA championship in 1980. And that was when Magic Johnson, you've probably heard of him, when Magic Johnson was a rookie. Magic Johnson, so you hit the one, 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 so
They were the favorites to come back and win the championship again in 1981. But Magic Johnson hurt his leg. Magic Johnson He missed 45 games. They still had a good season. But not as good as it probably would have been. As it came time for Magic Johnson to, to start back playing, Magic Johnson you would have thought he was the only player on the team. All the news reports focused on Magic Johnson's return. And yet there were other players on the team who were all pro. And some of them started getting a little jealous. There was tension and dissension on the team. The Los Angeles Lakers, they did make the playoffs that year. But they lost in the first round. Here's what Pat Riley had to say about that season. He says, because of pettiness and resentment, we executed one of the fastest falls in NBA history and it was all because of the disease of me. あの、ステータス、あの、パフォーマンス、ステータスパフォーマンス、あの、のイメージなど自分たちのことより、あの、大事に思っていたこと選手たちが気がつかれました。It あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
causes one of the lions to run off. Another buffalo causes another lion to run off. One buffalo causes with his horns to throw a lion up 10 feet in the air. And when that, when that lion landed, he ran off too. And so eventually all the lions ran off. And the young buffalo, though injured, lived. Any one of us could find ourselves being attacked, torn to pieces. Because Satan is a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. And so whenever that might happen, that person who might be being attacked needs the other believers to come along and help. And so that's one of the reasons Paul is saying, I want you to be of one mind, one spirit. Do you know Christ? Because if you don't know Christ, that is the most important need in your life. And so if, if you have questions about Christ, about Christianity, I want to so encourage you to have a conversation with another believer. And let them share more with you about Christ. If you do know Christ, I want to encourage you to live with kingdom consistency. And may the Lord use you and your brothers and sisters to do great things for Christ. Let's pray. Father, as we bow before you this afternoon, we thank you and praise you for Jesus Christ and salvation and forgiveness of sins that he provides. If anyone who's hearing my voice doesn't know Jesus as Savior, I pray you will draw them to yourself. And for those of us who do know the Lord, help us to live a life that is consistent with the Scriptures. Help us to so live our lives that we can make an impact for the kingdom of God. And that's my prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take some time and let's sing and let's think about the things that we've heard today. I will build my life upon your love it is a firm foundation i will put my trust in you alone and i will not be shaken should no
Have a seat. So if today you heard about Jesus and you think I want to start that relationship with him today, we pray this prayer together every week. And there's two reasons why we do that. And one of the reasons we do that is so that you can know how to begin that relationship with God. And it's not just for that reason. As Christians, it's important for us to remember what this has done for us. It's so important. And so let's say this. Dear Jesus, I believe in you. Thank you for forgiving me. Come into my life and I will follow you. As Jeff said earlier, if you have interest in Christianity, so please talk to someone here today and we have that conversation with them. Thank you so much for being here today. We're going to have our announcement time. So Lynn, Lynn Welcome, Lynn and Momo. Okay, thank you for coming today. Uh, sure. We're really glad to have you. Um, please, if, if today was your first time with us, please make sure you check out in the back there. We have some free gifts for you. Please don't leave without one of those. Please also don't forget that we are on many... Um, sorry, I'm just in, in the mode, right? Yes, your turn. Do, dozo. Dozo. Also, today we're going to have food catered from Ruchira. And that will be 500 yen for each person, um, elementary and older. え、大人を含め小学生以上の方は and don't forget, Women's Bible Study is getting ready to start September 11th. So please talk to Joni about that. And last but not least, Back to School Bash, parents. It's going to be September 30th, September 20th at 4.30 to 8.30. Back to School the parents day tonight. えっと、9時、あ、ごめんなさい。9月の20日の4時半から8時半まで私たちを献金のします。it's because we have received from God. We've received forgiveness and joy from God. And we want other people to be able to have this experience with God. And as we sing this last song, we're going to do our offering.